Hello folks and welcome to a brand new Unity tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at glass materials. So something you might want to add to your buildings, you might want a nice glass effect to look through obviously instead of just an open void and it just adds a nice effect and it's really really easy to do first of all let's get the housekeeping out of the way if you do like this video don't forget to smash that like button and if you want to keep up to date with when new videos are released don't forget you need to subscribe and hit that bell notification now without further ado let's get into today's tutorial and it really is that simple so i've got a basic grass platform here if you like what i'm going to do first of all is i'm going to create another cube so up into our hierarchy 3D object cube. I'm going to drag that up to there. And all I want this just to be at the back, really, just to um, have something that you can actually see through the glass itself. I don't know why I'm doing it this way. I never use that function there. Let's just do that. Change it, make it a bit higher. Let's do, oops. Let's do that like that. There we go. We've got a backing board there, if you like. And now what we're going to do is go 3D object, create another cube. And this cube is going to be our glass object, glass or glass, depending on whereabouts you hail from. And let's just make that, whoops, make it quite thin. Glass isn't necessarily thick, is it? Let's um, do that there. So at the moment, as you can see, we cannot see through that there at all. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a glass texture. And all we need to do is go into our materials folder, right click and create a new material. We'll call it glass, because that seems quite a logical name for it, given what we're actually creating. Um, we will create a colour for it. We'll give it a bit of a colour, just a very, very slight tint of blue, very slight. You can change it, you can have whatever colour you want. You have red glass if you want to, it's entirely up to you. Um, and then we're going to change the surface type from opaque to transparent. And I forgot to change the transparency and the colour as well. When we select the colour, we need to go down to here and we need to just drag this down and make it as you can make it totally transparent by zero or you can have it somewhere in the middle and again play around with this number until you get a number that you feel confident with and then once we've done that we'll grab the glass material and drag it on to the piece itself and there ladies and gentlemen the most basic straightforward glass you will ever create and if you want to like I said we can change the colour, we can have a red glass if you want to, it doesn't make much difference at all, it's entirely up to you what effect your game is going for. What you can also do, which I quite like, is add a little texture to the glass to make it frosted if you want, or, or a ripple effect, or if you want to look at stained glass windows, you can create that as well. So what I've done is I've gone to, the, um, I've gone to Google, and I've typed in frosted glass seamless texture, make sure it's seamless so you don't get any weird anomalies in it at all. I've then downloaded it into the materials and I've changed it from default into a normal map and created from grayscale and you can change the bumpiness according to whatever you want to do there and whatever you do click apply at the end. That's all you need to do with that texture. So by creating a normal map, creating it from grayscale, you're then creating a bumpy effect. Go back to our glass material and if you notice we've got the surface there we can change this as well if you want to make it a bit more. I don't want to make it metallic, but we can make it shiny, definitely. A bit of a shine on it. And there is the normal map thing, normal map function. So what we need to do is grab that frosted glass there, drag it into the normal map, and you can see instantly we've added a weird bumpy texture to the glass. And you can change that if you want to. We can alter the normal map thickness. We can make it incredibly bumpy if you want to or you can make it just subtle enough that you've got a little texture and you can play around with this as well and the normal map amount is a float so you can go into pluses minuses whatever you want but I think that little texture there just adds another dimension to the glass makes it stand out a bit more and gives someone who's getting changed behind there a little bit of privacy and let's just uh, make it more metallic if you want to as well just play around with it as much as you want and there we go a very very simple tutorial on how to how to create a glass texture in unity there we go
So like I said earlier, if you enjoyed that, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more content, and thank you ever so much for watching. Bye for now.